all right what's going on guys uh this is gonna be my video i wanted to do a quick tutorial of the ultimate truck toolbox that i built for myself saw a lot of videos on this and i had the idea i wanted to have a 110 outlet on the outside air chuck so uh, i did this on a budget <clears throat> let me show you what i did you got a basic tractor supply toolbox it gets an 18 inch, uh, 12 inch deep, something like that. Um, got a 500 watt inverter, nothing nothing huge. Then I got a one and a half gallon uh, compressor. Well, it's a little Chinese model, but it seems to be doing the trick. So I'm gonna show everybody what I did. You know, you can do your own thing. Um, so what I did is I ran a uh, fuse box. You can see it down in there. Um, did holds up to six circuits, so uh, I wanted to just have everything on fuses and um, you know and I figured if instead of running fuses all over to look cleaner and if I want to add lights later I can just tap right in. Um, well, let's start with the uh, 12 volts. Um, drilled a hole in the side, brought some 6 gauge wire in. This is how it's going to hook up to the truck. I've got some winch connectors here. Pretty beefy. Um, and I bought a set of jumper cables that I'm going to cut. These will go in the truck when I'm ready so it's 20 foot do yourselves a favor buy the the jumper cables are like 24 bucks versus the, the cord itself I think it's twice that much or the cable itself so um, that's what I got it rigged up on right now just to get the power over so we're coming in oh goes into the side have everything siliconed off I used a rubber grommet came in the box down here in the very corner you can barely see it where my fingers at um, came across and then I tapped it into the fuse panel negative positive and, uh, and there we go and then I've got my my basically my sub panel for my truck um, everything's ran airtight I found this fitting here um, to do basically to mount it through hard I mean, it's not going anywhere um, I got this guy idea off another youtuber. I really liked it. This is an RV outlet switch spring so See there, so let's uh, let me show you how it works uh, This will always have power um, You can turn it on see the indicator AC voltage and now we're good to go uh, the compressor Let me find an air tool real quick this I got a flex hose but we'll just plug this in for put the video all right so this compressor kicks on 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 its own that's it now it says it's a 150 PSI compressor cuts off around 120. I mean, I'm not expecting this thing to you know, fill up a 35 inch tire in 20, 20 seconds or anything like that. But uh, I did re read the reviews. Um, it is powerful enough to fill up the truck tires that I got on my dually. Uh, I'll show you guys in the next video the truck this is going in. It's going to be my LMM Duramax, uh, my 09 uh, dually. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to have. The ultimate truck box, you know, with, with, with what I need, I keep a good toolbox on this side. Uh, and, you know, when it's all said and complete, if I have a breakdown on the side of the road with my camper or anything like that, I just got everything I need to go. I mean, last year, um, being prepared like that, I was able to help some people on the side of the road. I never, I didn't have a problem with my trailer, but you never know what you're going to run into. And, uh, you know, last year I was able to help some folks out by having an impact and all the, the proper gear. So um, one thing I didn't specify was... This is a half inch thick uh, rubber flooring. Um, you know, I got a piece that I had laying around, cut it to fit, and then I was able to uh, mount the compressor right through on the rubber without, oh, without isolators. So uh, good to go. Uh, I bubble tested all my fittings. I recommend bubble testing any, any factory fittings or anything like that. Uh, everything was all good. This compressor, be careful if you buy one of these cheaper compressors. Uh, some of them do not have the standard uh, quarter-inch national pipe thread. 
Uh, this one did, so I was able to take the factory fitting out and then just put a small leader hose, which was a three foot leader hose. You, um, I can help anybody out if they want to find these parts. You know, if you comment in the comment section, I can help you get these things located. I kind of just picked everything apart on Amazon. Uh, but there you go. I think it's clean. Uh, lastly, I'll get to this will be part one. Part two will be me when I'm done with the truck. This is going to be a, a, a breaker. I just wanted to let everybody know that too when you're running along the firewall. Uh, this will be a resettable breaker that I can kill power to this anytime up underneath the hood. And then uh, if anything catastrophic goes on, it won't tear the truck up. So very important that you guys fuse and protect everything. Um, you know, I just, there's no, there's no shortcut for that. Protect everything up. But I mean, some of you guys might be able to do wiring a little better than me. I, I, I like it. It looks good. Uh, other thing, I wire loomed everything. So, uh, you know, just get yourself a roll of the wire loom and try to wire loom everything i made this plug but uh, make it look clean so all right fellas i'll check you on the next video